if you've been looking for a more stable grid mix or at least a stable driver except for gold i think this is it hello and welcome back to another video my name is lucas this is christopherson disc golf and today i'll be trying a new disc from castaplast called Krut. though before we head into things i just want to say that i'm a bit inconsistent so take this with a pinch of salt if you'd like uh, and also big thanks to my sponsor Ugland Throw and Rethrow, the disc golf store in Stockholm, Gothenburg and Linköping, uh, getting me the disc before it comes out next week so I could try it for myself and for you guys' sake. Krut, not Krut. Krut in Swedish. <laughs> Today I'll be trying out Krut, the new addition to Kastaplast lineup. Uh, I think it's supposed to be baby brother of Guld and somewhat sort of the older brother of Grim X. So I'll be throwing all three of these today and trying to figure out what Krut is all about. We're jumping straight into throwing this on a baby hyzer. I'm using about 70% power. Still trying to match the speed of 12, but I noticed straight away after throwing a lot of understable disc recently i struggled to find the right angle on this disc that was it but i'm thinking the crude is more like lots not in the way it feels but in the way it flies though both of my lots are overstable I'm thinking I can use both Lutz and Krut for the same sort of throws as it is just now. From first glance it's easy to think that these discs are really similar because the profile is kind of similar. You can see a bigger difference on Grim X to the left and Guld to the right. The Guld is a bit thicker or wider. While the it seems to be just in between. Comparing the profiles of Grim X and Krut this way, you can see the Grim X is way more pointy while they're still super similar. Maybe not the most scientific way of checking this. If you've been looking for a more stable Grim X, or at least a stable driver, except for Gould, I think this is it. As I'm throwing Anheuser, the Grim X just holds the line until finally, when it comes down towards the ground, uh, fading out. Uh, yeah, again, I'm not the best, so my inconsistency in hitting the angles and the same spin and everything uh, doesn't really. Uh, make a good comparison for these discs. However, I also noticed the difference in how Krut is way more stable. Not maybe way more stable, but it's more stable. Not only in the numbers. It's not as fast as Guld. Still getting sort of the same result with Guld as I'm doing with Krut. Then again, I'm more used to throwing gold. I'm going to give this one more go. Starting with the Grim X. Anheuser around the goals. Trying to aim for the big T pad for, for the range. Oh, not nearly as enough. A snuff, not nearly enough. Good. Four. I'm not that strong. Gotta keep on throwing. Gotta keep on throwing. Gotta keep on throwing. Oh. 
gonna keep on throwing. And that's satisfying. I don't think I can do it justice like this. All I can say for now is that I find it to be more stable than Grimex in a really good way. So I think I'm going to take the crit onto the course and play around and see what I think. All in all, I would say if you like Kesta Plus and you're after an overstable driver, don't hesitate to buy this one. I will most likely put this in my bag at some point, maybe in a few weeks after I've used it a bit more. To finish off, here's some footage of me throwing the new disc on the course. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time, spin it to pin it. That's a birdie with crit, crit, mercy. I recorded most of the throws before I headed out on the course. I didn't even try the forehand until I got on the course, which I regret slightly. Um, so I couldn't really show you guys how it flies. However, if you head over to Victor's channel, he'll show you all the angles uh, in a very nice way. So. If you haven't seen that already, love you, Victor. <laughs> <laughs>